This morning we've driven over the mountains to San Isidro. We're in the city and we had a restaurant we like to have breakfast at called Bazookas. You can see here, it offers almost everything. It's got steaks, burgers, pasta, salads, waffles, pancakes. It's more of an American style restaurant, but it also has typical Tico food. Today, Betty and I are at one of our favorite places to eat in San Isidro. We go from Caples Manuel Antonio toward Dominical over the mountains into San Isidro. Today, we came here to get a set of tires for our ATV. While we're here, we visit Bazooka for breakfast, and we're going to introduce you to the Hefe of Bazooka, the boss. And he's going to give you the story of how he went to the United States and came back and, and formed this restaurant, which the people here that are expats visit the restaurant because it reminds us of the food back in the U.S. Okay, uh, hi everybody. <laughs> How's everything? My name is Bernie. Well, uh, this started like almost 30 years ago in, in 1990. I went to the United States for the first time uh, to New Jersey, New Jersey. It was a bunch of friends up there, and I started working in a restaurant as a helper, you know, like washing dishes. <laughs> and then I started, you know, helping, help people, helping the, uh, in the uh, kitchen uh, as like a salad table. Uh, and then I was cooking. So I learned a little bit of everything, a little bit of Irish food, a little bit of American food, a little bit of Chinese. Uh, Italian. Well, if, you, if, you, if, if I talk about the whole thing, it would be like three hours. <laughs> but it was, it was a nice experience. And then um, I met this girl that I got married. Yeah, we was coming back home to get married here with everything. We buy, we buy everything up there. Even the uh, invitation for the wedding, uh, the... the um, my wife's dress and everything. So when we came back to Costa Rica, we was thinking what to do here for a living. And she, would, she used to be a waiter in the United States. And I used to go to a place close to my, my house called Bazookas. It was, a, it was a nice sport bar. I used to go there and watch the uh, football games and uh, basketball. And it was a lot of fun. It was famous with the buffalo wings, and I love it. So when we came back, we decided to open a place and give it a try. You know, nobody knew anything about um, chicken parmesan or um, chicken marsala or cheese steak or home fries. Nobody knows anything about it. So when we started the business, we got a few customers, uh, like local people, they try, they start learning how to order things, you know? And, uh, and then the, uh, the people from the United States, or people from Canada, people from everybody, every, all around the world, they was showing up and they love the food, they, and so we start that. It was great because we got a lot of business, but it was a small place. We have to put like tents outside in the parking lot when we used to celebrate Thanksgiving. Because nobody, nobody know anything about Thanksgiving. What's this? Turkey, turkey. So when we first time we did the uh, the uh, Thanksgiving dinner, it was packed, packed. It was no place to sit down. And then we moved to this new location like 15 years ago. And over here we got plenty of space. We got the parking lot, the highway, and then from. So, in the beginning, when, when we decide to uh, do the menus, I try to put in the menu a little bit of everything, you know, 
It's a huge menu. You can find anything you want. Breakfast, like in the United States, home fries, pancakes, waffles. Uh, lunch time, like nice burgers, homemade, ground meat. Uh, any kind of cold sandwiches, hot sandwiches, club sandwiches, pastas, seafood. And one of our special uh, specials is the uh, steaks. We're getting really good steaks. We've been trying different companies and we only using the, the best for me in Costa Rica, which is the meat from Don Fernandez is the best. Tender, the flavor, everything. If you try a steak, it's, it's, you will see the difference between the other kind of meats that you can find the local. It's a big difference. And it was so funny when we was trying to set up the menu. It was yeah. this guy, we, he was working in the, in the computer. He used to do like a, a magazines and websites and things like that. So he started help, helping me with the menu. And, and he says, well, Bernie, we gotta put a, a, a burger with your name on it. Let's do that. So we, we decided to do the Big Burn. The Big Burn Burger. I like it. It's big, it's huge, it's like this big. And everybody love it. It was so funny. And uh, so we, in the restaurant here, we tried to set up different in like that Like the outside, we got a, a, like a fountain with fish outside. We got a small room for meeting. And we got like people traveling, like students coming to Costa Rica and stay here for three weeks. We tried to set up a nice packages for them, you know, like really good price and good, good food. Like right now, it's like, it's a, it's a group of young people coming like, like for lunchtime, they're gonna show up any moment. <laughs> so it's been a whole adventure, you know. And we've been in this business for almost 30 years in a row. And um, we got a regular customer, like regular uh, American, citizen and resident they live around here they always come for lunch breakfast lunch and dinner we come all the way from cables to have your meal <laughs> that's right and that's a so, one and a half hours yeah, almost two hour drive and we love it, we love it. and the more important thing is if you type in the internet trying to find bazookas it shows everywhere the ways everywhere you it's easy to get nice. here yeah it's, it's it's been a great adventure i have oh. one final comment I want to share with you that you impacted me to think about. Everything that you said about bazookas reminds me of a field of dreams. You build it and they will come. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm, exactly. Thank you, amigo. It was a pleasure. And I've been here, I, I hope, <laughs> for many years, you know. And we'll see you guys. You Thanks for so coming. You are young, you will be here well, I'm 51 already. Oh, well, I'm not that young. Uh, <laughs> we, we call ourselves forever young because I'm 78 and Betty's 83. Oh, okay, I'm still young. I'm You're still young. <laughs> I'm 83. I'll be 84 at Christmas Eve. You don't look like you. Really? You got just too much energy. Yeah, that's what we. You're, well, you're bright in your face. Thank everything you like. Well, <laughs> thank you, Bernie. It was a pleasure.